welcome back to Wigging with Christy. Today's gonna be a quick unboxing video of a new wig just released by Aesthetica Designs. This is in a new collection by Aesthetica Designs. It's a heat friendly. We've never seen heat friendly fibers from Aesthetica. And this is in the wig Sven. Um, and it is spelled S-E-V-Y-N. S-E-V-Y-N. And this is in the color Sunlit Blonde. And as you can see, we have a different color of label. If you know Aesthetica, you know that they label their collections and colors. So I would say this is kind of a, like a rusty orange. So let's go ahead and pull it out of the box. I have not taken a look at this at all. Like not even opened the box. All right, so we have beautiful packaging in there, tissue it's in a net. It has a little stick there. And a little tissue in the middle. Okay, again, the tag. And let's see if it says anything about these heat friendly fibers. Um, it just gives some heat defiant collection. Um, exclusive collection of wigs that can withstand heat styling tools up to 320 degree temperature heat up your look day after day and redefine the way you think of synthetic hair and give some tips for washing conditioning drying and styling i will give some of those tips when i do some voiceover segments of the wig um, but i think it's industry standard uh, and i'll go over that in a voiceover now, looking at this color, one thing I do notice is I've had Sunlit Blonde before on Blaze. I feel like this, and I I might have to pull out a picture and show um, and maybe look at my notes in the past, but I feel like this root is lighter. Now, I know we know that sometimes with the heat defiant fibers and a regular form of fiber, a regular synthetic, we can have a difference in the way the color is. Um, but I don't remember the root being as warm. I feel like it's lighter and a little warmer, not as dark. I love the Sunlit Blonde color. It's very a good mix of cool and warm blonde tones. So as you get close, you can kind of see that there is a little buttery, some buttery blondes and some light platinum blondes. I can see some layers here, loose waves and just layers all the way down. Kind of reminds me of an, between a Verona and a Blaze. Anybody else see that? I love Verona and I love Blaze. Kind of fills in between that. And I definitely feel a difference as far as in the fiber, I can tell that this, yeah, is probably heat friendly comparative to the regular Aesthetica fibers. I, I love Aesthetica fibers. Um, they're one of my most favorite brands. They are workhorse fibers. And so um, it will be interesting to see how that is with a heat friendly fiber. All right, let's take a look in the cap. Lace front, left monofilament part. We got still that open ear tab with the splicing. See how that root is definitely a lot lighter and warmer. We have Velcro adjusters. Ah, thank you, Grace. So this was one thing I've been looking forward to all year. Uh, Aesthetica told us in a training they were gonna be bringing the Velcro and they did. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and put this on. Look at that amazing lace front there. Now, what you can do is when you get a new wig and you want to uncrisscross it, you can spritz it a little bit. So 
This is um, the Wig Studio One new spray bottle. So a very nice water bottle. I'm really excited about that. So what I'm going to first do is kind of You don't want to get too close to that monofilament top. Amazing. Parting, as usual, with Aesthetica. They do such a great job with their parts. I haven't used this yet. Just a tip to do when you first get that wig out of the box, when you unpart it and kind of get it in the way you want it to go. I sometimes kind of like, actually, you know what? I can see I'm probably getting close to that line here. So I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that because if I get close, you will see that weft there. Let's actually make a little bit of adjustment. Over on the front, you can get a little bit wider because Aesthetica brings that lace over. So let's actually change it up just a little. But this is what I like to do with my wigs when I get them. To just make them a little bit better on the part. Yep, it is ready to wear right out of that box. Looks incredible. So definitely feel like that color is lighter than I recall with Sunlit Blonde. Uh, I had it a little over a year ago, um, but I kind of like that lighter root and I know many of you do. You don't like such a dark root, so I kind of like that a lot of how it's a little bit um, lighter, but it is warmer root, which I know many of you will like because you don't like when they're really dark brown. Okay, so for a little styling, you can pull this off the face. You could do an all the way up do as well. Very easy to do with this, with it being layered and PC. Now, I really like how it's um, textured and PC. If you want this a little bit more smoother, you can use a comb and comb it out. I personally like this look, so I'm gonna keep it like this, but I definitely feel those layers in there. These are giving me that Verona vibes and blaze, almost like the blaze curl pattern the Verona cut. I, Verona is a little longer than Sven. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. All right, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a Sven and an outside view. So I'm changing up the format here for this video. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and what to do when you first get it out of the box for Sven by Aesthetica Designs, heat friendly. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. See you guys next time. Bye.